This video is a demonstration of how to install pip from the pip get pip github page into Ubuntu 20.04 desktop. So what is pip? Pip is Python's default standard package manager. A package manager keeps track of the software installed on your computer and assists you in installing, upgrading, and deleting software packages. PIP helps you manage the over 200,000 packages available for Python. This video demonstrates how to install the latest and greatest version of PIP from the GitHub source page. So let's go to the PIP get PIP GitHub site. And so I'm going to post the address of this page in the YouTube description section. So looking at the README file, you can download a bootstrapping script that allows you to install pip, setup tools, and wheel in your current Python environment. This should be the latest version of pip. In order to install pip, you should have curl also installed on your Ubuntu 20.04 desktop. So I've written a short script, install-pip sh at the Baba Rainer GitHub page that will prepare Ubuntu 20.04 desktop to run the gitpip.py script. If you wish to run this script, please read the readme file for this script as it describes the disclaimer. Also, you would have to do a chmod plus x on the file. But this video will demonstrate how to install pip for the current user one line at a time. That way you can determine what each line of the install-pip.sh script does. So let's start off with doing a sudo update upgrade. So why don't I go to the script and just copy the line so I don't have to type. Copy. Paste. Run it. Of course it asks for my password. Oops. So I will also post this page in the YouTube description section. So now everything is updated, upgraded. So now I'm ready to install curl. To do is copy the next line. Copy. Paste sudo apt install curl dash y and curl stands for client url and url stands for uniform resource locator and in this case it will refer to a web address and curl is used for transferring data from or to a server using various transfer protocols such as https so now let me change to the downloads directory because that's where i'm going to Put the git pip dot file downloads. Let me go back to the GitHub git pip page and I'm going to copy it directly from there. I verify that works in my script, but I just want to copy it from the page just in case they change something. Paste and then hit enter. Well, wow, let's see if it's there. That was quick. LS and there's getpip.py. And if you want to know, that first S right here in curl dash SSL stands for silent. The second S stands for show if there's an error. And L is location for going to a different location if they change it on the server. And if you go all the way over here to this O, dash O, that means that write it down as a file. So now let me go back to my script. Once the git pip dot file is downloaded, it will be necessary to install the dist utils module for your current Python environment. The dist utils package provides support for building and installing additional modules into a Python installation. So use app to install dist utils package. And right here, we will copy that. Copy. Paste. Hit enter. And so now I should be ready to install pip. So I'm going to use Python 3 
to install gitpip.py. Paste python3 gitpip.py. Gives you a warning that says it's installed in your local directory. And finally it says uh, 22.04 is the version that's installed. So now pip.py is installed in your local directory. So you'll have to add its path to your .bashrc file. So I'm going to do that. That's the next line here. Copy. And basically this is just an echo and export path. Paste. Hit enter. Everything goes okay. It should be the last line in your .bashrc file. And so let's load that file. Copy. To make sure we get the latest copy of the BASHRC file running. Hit enter. Now, if I try it here, it won't run. But I will open up another terminal. New window. And so if I do a pip-v, away it goes. 22.04. I'm going to go into that directory where it's installed. So that would be cd dot local bin if you recall that's what we added to the uh, export path do an ls there or list and you'll see there are three copies of pip there or three ways you can start pip and basically what this does uh, the reason there are three uh, ways to start pip is like if you need to install pip for 310 because each different version of Python should have its own pip. In this case, it's actually installed for the pip 3.8. Now, so that's pretty much it for installing pip. Now, if I want to install Jupyter Notebook, I simply say pip install notebook. And Jupyter Notebook will be installed. So now if I do an ls... Uh, let's see, in that local bin directory, you'll see I've got all my Jupyter stuff. If I want to run Jupyter Notebook, pip has installed Jupyter Notebook. Now, to be effective with Jupyter Notebook, you've got to install a lot of other uh, packages like Pandas or uh, NumPy, Excel Writer, whatever. So I'm going to new Jupyter Notebook. Verify that it worked. T equal Jupyter Notebook. Let's do a print. F. Hello world. Nothing complicated here. Hello world. T. And do a shift enter. So it says hello world Jupyter Notebook. That's pretty much it for installing the latest version of PIP into Ubuntu 20.04 desktop. Thank you.